Time for our weekly segment, Nuclear Watch. Tonight, we're focusing on the Japanese government's plan to decontaminate the towns and villages around the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant. It's a huge area of land to clean up. People are anxious to know when it'll be considered safe. The government says it'll unveil its official decontamination strategy next month. NHK World's Yasuko Shibagaki is here to walk us through what we know. And we'll be speaking Japanese. Our translator interpreters will provide uh, English translation. Earlier this week, the Ministry of Environment issued a set of policy plans on decontamination. What are the major points of the plans? The biggest point of the report is that the central government has expanded areas where it takes responsibility for decontamination. Now the government will be responsible for decontaminating all areas with annual radiation levels of 1 millisievert or more instead of 5 millisieverts initially considered. At first, the area to be decontaminated extended 2,419 square kilometers. But the government has changed the threshold after facing strong opposition from municipalities in Fukushima, which insist that the areas which with levels of less than 5 millisieverts also should be decontaminated. The new standard would expand the decontamination area furthermore. The Environment Ministry's report also sets the goal for reducing the radiation levels in a certain time frame. Under the plan, in residential areas with annual radiation levels of less than 20 millisieverts, the government will aim to halve radiation levels by the end of August 2013 from August 2011. And the government will aim for a 60% radiation reduction in schools and parks used by children in the same time frame. Following this report, the Environment Minister Goshi Hosono has this to say. The Ministry will make all-out efforts for decontamination and radioactive waste disposal. It's very important that we, as the government, do this with the cooperation of the other ministries. Already in Fukushima Prefecture and its surrounding areas, they are sc scraping off the surface ground of schoolyards and cleansing roads. What specific measures are in the policy plans? First of all, topsoil of farmland must be removed. A government experiment near the nuclear power plant shows if four centimeters of topsoil on rice paddies are removed, the radiation levels in Seoul can be reduced from 10,000 becquerels to 2,500 becquerels per kilogram of soil. IAEA experts who are currently visiting Japan say this level is low enough. But at the same time, fallen leaves must be collected from large forests and woods, or roofs of buildings must be washed away. The government must also decide where it will store the huge amount of radioactive soil. According to the Environment Ministry's initial assessment, such soil amounts to 28.79 million cubic meters, which is equal to 11,000 times larger than a swimming pool used for the Olympics. Now the areas for decontamination has expanded furthermore, the amount of radioactive soil and waste would increase substantially. Well, contaminated soil and waste need to be disposed of appropriately. What are the future plans for their disposal? The government has yet to show the details. The radioactive soil would be decontaminated and be transported to temporary storage sites in each municipality. Soil with relatively high levels of contamination will be stored in temporary storage facilities set, set up by the central government. But in many municipalities, it's not easy to find locations for such storage sites because of concerns among residents. 
It's not clear either where the central government's storage facilities will be located. In Fukushima, decontamination work has already begun. But unless the locations of the storage sites are secured, cleanup efforts cannot make progress, so the central government should show specific policies immediately. Regarding the Fukushima Daiichi, already the costs to resolve the accident as well as the compensation for residents have grown enormous. The costs for decontamination are certain to be an additional burden, right? The Environment Ministry initially estimated that 1.14 trillion yen would be required to decontaminate areas with annual radiation levels of 5 millisieverts or more. But the recent change in the threshold would raise the cost furthermore. The government will pay the cost first and ask the Tokyo Electric Power Company to pay later. But if the cost rises substantially, it's not certain to what extent TEPCO can bear the cost. The Environment Ministry says it will do whatever it can do with the current budget, but it remains to be seen whether the Ministry can meet the needs of citizens with financial constraints.